Hey there guys, Jason back again, and a little while ago I uploaded a video talking about the uh, Samsung Gear S3 Frontier watch, and about how I got it uh, purely because I wanted to remove the need to do the uh, chip card reader uh, when paying for uh, items. And so as just a little bit of an update to that, I wanted to talk purely about Samsung Pay. Uh, so payment with phones and uh, smartwatches like this, it's not a very new thing. Apple Pay is there, there's also Android Pay in this, and then there's Samsung Pay on top of that. Uh, Samsung Pay is only really available for, uh, what is it, uh, the Note 5 and up, and then I think it's the S6 and up as far as the phones are concerned. It could be the S5, I'm not quite sure. Actually, it probably is the S5. Anyway, uh, there is a slight difference between Android Pay and Samsung Pay. As far as I'm aware, uh, Android Pay only allows for use with things like uh, NFC. So it actually has to have an NFC capable reader for it to actually accept payment from that device. Whereas Samsung Pay does NFC as well as the ability to sort of trick uh, the card reader into believing that an actual card is being swiped. That's why Samsung Pay is like so much more widely ac acceptable than Android Pay or uh, Apple Pay, which Apple Pay also relies on the NFC uh, communications as well. Um, in the past few months since I've actually had the watch, because um, <clears throat> I've had it since what, like, uh, yeah, like Black Friday or so. Um, and I've been using it basically every single day and trying to use it to pay for things. And basically it's become my new wallet. Um, and it's incredibly easy to use, incredibly easy to set up. Uh, you, you can basically set it up through your phone uh, that's linked to your watch. And uh, cause your phone actually has the same payment as well. Uh, so when you set it up, um, it just sets up your credits or debit cards. Uh, there are some like club cards that you can put in there but those are scannable off of your cell phone. Uh, but it's so much as touching your phone or your card um, your phone, your watch, uh, to the actual card reader in a specific spot to allow it to read the, uh, the transaction. Um, it won't work on all devices. Uh, typically the ones that you actually have to put your card into, like say at a, at an ATM or uh, a gas station, things where you actually have to put the card into it and remove it, those won't actually work with this. Uh, it doesn't reach, like the communication doesn't really reach far enough into the device to actually register the card swipe. But as long as you can swipe your card normally, uh, typically there will be a place where you can put your uh, your watch or your phone next to it to actually get it to read. And uh, like examples of weird places that I had at work. Um, and by the way, I've, I've asked very politely if I can try it. Like I asked at Harkins, because their register has it connected to the actual um, screen. So I asked if I can touch my watch to their, uh, to the thing and it works there. Uh, post office guys was completely like, unbelieving that I could get it to work and it worked perfectly fine at the post office. Um, Pizza Hut let me uh, touch my watch to their card reader and it works there. Uh, most, like basically any supermarket or grocery store, Walmart, uh, any sort of retail chain like that it will work at. Um, so anywhere where you can actually swipe your card, more than likely it's gonna work. I think the only time that I've ever had it work is um, <clears throat> I was at a hookah bar and the, the system that they have, it's like one of those like square pay systems where they have a tablet with one of the square card readers. Um, it, for whatever reason, couldn't read it off of that. Um, but I don't know if it's just because their software isn't compatible with it, or it needs to be updated, or it just, it's not able to broadcast a number correctly. Um, there was one other issue that I ran into where I was making a purchase with a credit card and Target registered the one of the cards numbers as an invalid card number um, But that was purely because I think the the purchase price as buying a TV um, It required the last few digits of the card number and when I was giving the card number uh, that Because it gives you like a, a an individual card number for the digital card that you're swiping uh, When I was giving that it wasn't registering properly uh, But otherwise like it is working on every transaction that I'm that I'm using it for and I'm trying it everywhere If I can get them to let me touch my card to the pin pad, I will do it uh, but I basically just want to say and this isn't this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm not, definitely not big enough for it. I'm basically just saying that if you have the capability of using Samsung Pay or even Android Pay or Apple Pay, definitely give it a try. Um, there are some benefits to doing it. Um, Samsung Pay actually has a reward program which it earns you points for every purchase that you make. And it gets you things like coupons and offers for like contests and things that you can um, use your points towards to actually win or get discounts off of things from their store. Uh, so just keep it in mind. It definitely 
removes a lot of hassle. If I forget my wallet, this is my wallet or my phone is my wallet. Uh, with the S3, I don't actually require my phone to be nearby, so if I leave the house with purely just my watch, I'm fine. And, of course, there is safety features. You have to have some sort of, um, p like, PIN number or security setting or lock passcode on your phone and watch. Uh, for these to actually be um, able to work. Uh, and that gives me a little bit of peace of mind because if for whatever reason someone was to take my watch, they would have to like know my code or reset the watch completely, hopefully, to get it to actually work with any sort of payment method. So I know that I'm not losing all my money if my watch was to get stolen, hopefully. <laughs> but it does make life a lot easier. I can't imagine that it's fun sitting there waiting for half a minute or longer uh, for your chip card to actually finish reading. All I have to do is just bam and done. It's definitely something that I recommend people try. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below, uh, how do you feel about electronic payments like this? Do you feel it's safe? Uh, do you use them? Um, do you trust them? Um, I mean, I guess that's the safety thing, but do you want to like upgrade a device so you can actually do something like this in the future? That's definitely what I did. Uh, but yeah, definitely give it a try if you ever get a chance. But yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>